Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a quiz in Adobe Captivate 6. This is focused on basic beginners who are brand new to Captivate because as intuitive as quizzes are and helpful as they are to use them in Captivate, there are a few little quirks about it. So this is not going to dig real deep, it's just going to cover how in a matter of a few minutes can I get a quiz up and going. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Blank Project. I'm going to go with the default. I'm going to click OK. Now, if you were going to embed this into a HTML page, for instance, in Dreamweaver, for a site you're already creating, you might want to spend more time actually thinking about the size dimensions because you might want to make it small enough to fit in, let's say, the content div or wherever you're wanting to put this. I'm going to go to Insert Slide. So I'm just going to drag this up. And in here, I'm going to put some basic information about the quiz. For instance, can they retake it? How many times? How long? How many questions? Those types of things. So I would do something like this, check your knowledge. I tell them how many questions there are, whether they can retake it. And the important thing is I highlight that they have to hit submit after each time they answer a question. That's something that if you don't hit submit, Captivate essentially assumes you didn't answer the question by default. And that's something that's confusing to new users. So I'm going to click insert button on the left and over here in the properties, I'm going to type in begin quiz. I'm going to go to action and make sure it's set to go to the next slide. That looks good. So now I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to click on question slide. And at this point, I'm going to just select how many types of questions I want. So I'm going to have two multiple choice and one true and false. Give the option of making it graded, survey, or pretest. I'm just going to do graded by default. You can see just like that, it's created three slides with three questions. And so I'm just going to take a minute and I'm going to type in some basic questions. And then after I type in my question, I have to choose the right answer. In this case, it's Denver. And you'll notice down here that there's the review area. And so keep that in mind. You can change the color. There's a lot of ways that you can customize this, but for now, we're keeping this nice and simple. So you'll notice over in the right in the properties inspector that you have other options too. So be aware to, you know, spend some time looking at some of these things to see some of the options you have. And specifically, if I'm clicking over here in the quiz area, notice that with this quiz properties, this is where I can change. Maybe I want to have three multiple choice, or I want to change the points. So there's some important things to be aware of under this quiz properties. You could change the default points. You could change a number of things. Maybe you want um, the answers to be numbered rather than letters, etc. Okay, so here's my last question, true and false, a little different. Once again, I just choose the correct answer, and that looks good. So you notice that what Captivate does too is once you create the quiz slide, it always gives you a quiz results page. So I'm going to zoom out here just a little so you can see this a little better. And, it, and you can even decide which one of these, perhaps you don't want all of this feedback for the user. And so you can definitely um, change that and customize that as you feel your needs require. But go up here at the end, and you can actually do this in the beginning if you want, and go down to Quiz Preferences. So Quiz Preferences has a few things that are useful to be aware of. One is, if you're doing any kind of reporting with an LMS, you're definitely going to want to spend some time with that. But like I said, this is for beginners. We're not even going to get into that. Right here under Settings, what's important is, this is where you could shuffle answers if you wanted to. I'm going to hit Yes. And this is a very important thing, Submit All. I recommend selecting this because what it does is if a user forgets to hit the submit button after they answer a question, this will prompt them at the end to do this. And so there's a few other things done here you can change if you want and spend some time playing with these and see which one makes sense. You know, do you want the user to be able to review the quiz? Do you want to show the score at the end? That type of thing. You know, and this is where you could see all the types of things that you can show the user at the end. So I'm going to hit OK, OK. 
And at this point, I'm going to save, and I'm going to I'm going to save it as my quiz. Okay, so before I preview this, what I want to do is I'm going to go to this title slide. I'm going to right-click over here and hit delete. And then I want to make this button much bigger. So I want to really have the user understand what they're about to do. I'm going to show the themes panel because I want actually to have this be a blank slide. Okay, so it gave me a warning, but I wanted everything just to follow this blank. And so I could still go back and play with the color of the buttons if I wanted to. The other thing that I noticed was, and you guys might have noticed this earlier, was, okay. So now I'm going to save it once again and preview it in a web browser. Okay, so here it is, and you can see, and there's other things you can do too to even play with the skinning so if you don't want the player you don't want some of these buttons you can adjust that but for here it tells me about this quiz what I need to do I click on it to begin it so this is where I'm going to select Denver I'm going to hit next and because I changed that it forced the submit all no matter if they hit submit even though the instruction said to hit it if they're just hitting next at the end when they hit next it prompts them. You've answered all the questions. What do you want to do next? Well, I want to submit all answers. And so there it is. It gives me the results. So just like that, I've created a basic quiz in Captivate. So the last thing I'd want to do is decide how I want to publish this. And so in this case, I'm just going to click Publish. And I'm going to actually just do this as a Swift file. And I'm going to publish to a folder. And I'm going to browse to this. And I'm going to create a folder called my quiz and down here you have this option do you want it to be a swift video file or HTML5 or both so I'm going to do both and I'm going to hit publish so then finally it says your publish was you published successfully do you want to view the output so I could hit yes and it's going to open up in the web browser just like before when I previewed it I'm going to pull this over, it's off screen, and I can see the published version with my HTML. And so I could go through and, if I wanted to, bring this in Dreamweaver and edit the HTML page around this, or I can simply pop this into Dreamweaver, which we will go over in a future video. So this was basic, how to do a basic knowledge check or self-assessment type quiz using Adobe Captivate 6 for complete beginners. Hope it was helpful. Thanks.